Yes. Uh, July 1872. Mm -hmm. Brian Erdler. Perfect. Where are you from? I'm from England. I like your accent. Oh, thank you. So you're a, a nurse? I'm a physician assistant, actually. Oh, okay. okay. So you're like, super healthy? I try to be. It could be. There's definitely things I could improve on. So I, I'm actually a vegan. A nice. Vegan, a vegan for like three years now. I was just curious, are you like a plant-based or...? I eat a wide variety of foods. Right now, okay. I'm currently trying at the recommendation of my dietitian to uh -huh. eat more protein. But I don't eat a lot of meat meat. I eat a lot of the protein shakes. Oh, yeah. okay. Interesting. Get... Never looked into living just on a plant-based diet? No, I haven't. Do you watch it like a, a lot of educational documentaries? Not really. Okay. Well, I bet you're sure you're working all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's because like we're here most of the time. I do watch a lot of um. We have medical education requirements we have to meet every year, so I watch a lot right. of videos on uh like urgent care. I used to work in orthopedic trauma, so I used to work oh, with really? okay. stuff with that quite frequently. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very no, healthy lifestyle choice. It's just kind of one of those things. There's, there's a couple of reasons people go plant-based. One, one's for the health reasons because yeah. it, it's been proven, you know, that it's yeah. it can actually reverse some kind of illnesses, diseases. And then the second, the ethical reason, you know, that yeah, you're not doing anything to animals. Right. So. And if you want me to move, I'm no, okay. You're fine. I just want to make sure I have numbing stuff nearby if we need it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you ever get time, there's a documentary that yeah. you can watch on YouTube, and it's called Dominion, mm -hmm. and it's narrated by the, the actor Walking Phoenix. Oh, I know who he is. I like him. Yeah, and he, um, it shows the, the hidden truths in the meat, egg, and dairy industry that, um, you know, they tend not to make the public aware. So, I mean, make up your own mind, watch it, check it out. If you forget the time, it's like an yeah. hour long. Oh, no, you're yeah. fine. Does any of this hurt where I'm kind of poking prod here? No. Okay, so the first one. You want to watch? You want to look away? You want me to tell you what we're doing? Oh, no, you can just go ahead and go ahead and do it. Oh, there's a yelp like a puppy for you. Uh... That hurts. I want you to say something. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to go through this a little bit if we can. If this isn't sharp enough, we get a heavier needle. You can answer this question for me. Oh, that hurts just a little bit. Almost done. So th this question about what, cholesterol? Uh-huh. So if I don't consume any cholesterol at all, uh -huh. is, is that a problem for me? No. Should it be? Okay. Why? What's your concern with it? I remember my doctor one saying that this kind there's a good cholesterol that you there's can HDL, get from. There's HDL, high density lipoprotein, which is like in your salmon, okay, like your omega threes, things like that. But you can also get those from nuts. Oh really? Like okay. almonds and things like that. Uh huh. Mm, I eat a lot of almonds. No, that's good. Yeah. I actually, my diet really is um, nothing really changed. I just switch out. Like the steak, chicken, beef is just replaced with like the meat alternatives that and look, like, you look do, the like, same. Tofu or what do you do? I eat plant based chicken, uh -huh. plant based steaks. They, they have plant based eggs now. Crazy. Oh, I didn't know that. With like no cholesterol. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Honestly, so I'd be interested in half of my problem is. You don't smoke cigarettes? Oh, no. You don't eat, you're on the right track there. You don't drink alcohol. No. Maybe like a glass of wine at like a nice dinner or something. So but when, when you eat meat, you know there's a lot of bad things in the meat. Yes. Right. So why do, why do we ignore that when we're eating meat? I think it's more of a habitual thing, like how we grew up. Because I grew up in the mid this Midwest Cultural area. Cultural tradition. I think it's, a tr it's like what your mom used to make or what you're used to mm -hmm. making and cooking. Or like for me, for instance, what my husband and children right. are willing to eat and try. And so I think that's probably a lot of it. Lisa, it's like mm. I honestly, I'm very, very, very picky with meat. Like right. annoyingly picky. <laughs> can ask my husband, he hates cooking for me sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, 
Oh my god, that one turned down pretty good. I think you might just need one more little bit right here and you should be good. So when I first uh, I found out how they kill pigs, you know, standard practice 2023 now all over the world. Did, did you know that they kill the pigs at six months old? Oh, that's sad. And standard practice everywhere now, no, ma no matter whether they're organic or factory farm raised, they gas them just like oh. in the Second World War. That's so sad. Right. And then... Um, so I just really didn't want to contribute towards that. Oh, I don't blame you. So I, want I to switch either. into the plant based. For one, you're not adding into that. To that suffering, and then I'm also plant based and healthier. The, the health part's not the reason. That's just a bonus. The health part. But. See, the average consumer doesn't know that those pigs, things. Yeah. And they don't want you to know. No, they don't. They don't want to hurt the business. And it's, uh, I'm not going to shoot you, I'm just using okay. this to clean up a little bit and this will kind of help numb up a little bit through the end. Same in the dairy, there's a lot of hidden truths in the dairy industry and you probably don't know this, cows don't naturally constantly give milk. Hmm. They have no, to I be, didn't know that, honestly. So they have to be pregnant and have a baby every year. So the baby's taken away and because mankind needs the milk yeah. and ba the baby's given a replacer. However, if the babies are male, they're worthless to the dairy industry, and they usually kill them at a young age, sometimes a couple of days old, Aww. for what they call veal. Oh, yeah, so okay, I've heard of veal. I've had veal before, it's really tender. I've never had it, but I've heard of it. It's like the most expensive steak you can buy on a menu, because it's so tender, because it's a baby. <laughs> You're eating a baby. It hasn't lived through all those. That's so, like I mean, if you put yourself in the mother's position or the child's position, I can't imagine what they go through. Oh, I know. That'd be awful. Yeah, so that's why I don't pay for milk or cheese. I don't to contribute blame towards one that. bit. So like I said, there's two types of vegan. There's the ethical and then there's the healthy. Can I lift your finger up? You You're getting it. multifactorial benefits. You did a good job there. Thank you. That ceased to be my main job. When I worked in surgery, my job was to stitch everybody shut. All right. And these stitches are only pulling out? Yeah, in about seven days. Oh, great. <laughs> you can come here for a nurse visit. You can go to your doctor's. Any, you can go anywhere, and oh. it's not that bad. It's just a quick pl pluck oh, and a pull. Okay. But let me go get some dressings to put over the top of it, okay? Okay, awesome. Open it up. No, that's been super interesting. Like I said, mine's more like it's, it's just habitual and ease, and it's like it's what I know how to make. If I, I, was I remember my mother saying, you're not leaving this table until you've eaten. Until you've done eating, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just the way we've... Uh, no, it's just, it's just how yeah. you've been conditioned your whole life. Conditioned. There you go. It's a good word. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I mean, if you find time, it's called Dominion, and you can just go to YouTube and type in Dominion Documentary an hour long it's definitely eye-opening educational documentary for yeah. the watch and there's also what the hell on netflix is it another, another good one there as okay. well well definitely have to check those out mm -hmm. i'm always looking for a new good show uh, things is a those sterilized all right let me grab your stuff okay you no did problem. great you too thank you and i'll get you a note for work okay okay